And mugshot lady. She looks like the crazy neighbor chick. There is no way this woman is in her thirties. She looks old as shit. There is no way. Uh, I gotta read this one. <clears throat> Man busted for lewd solo performance outside a Michigan jail where his girlfriend is serving time. That's love, folks. That is just that is just love right there. That is just you know you. you <sighs> that is just love right there. What the fuck? Okay, these people don't deserve having a kid. Pennsylvania couple charged for having sex on a bus, city bus, while their friend is holding their infant daughter have pled guilty for indecent exposure, according to court records. Amanda... Confer and Randall Peterson, Confer 24, Peterson 32, was recorded by vehicle surveillance cameras as traveling through Motorsville. Nah, that's a name. Montersville. Sorry, Montersville. I thought it was Motorsville. I was like, damn, that's a name. According to cops, Confer was boarding the bus accompanied by her infant daughter where she met up with Peterson who got on the bus with Joshua Schill. Why does it always Josh is getting in trouble? Damn. Give us a break. At the time, both men were pre-release inmates when they were part of a work release program. Allowed them to come and go in Lynn County lockup at set times. After Confort handed the baby to Shill, Peterson, she and Peterson seated in the rear of the bus, quickly prog- progressed from hugging, kissing to oral sex. Confort lowered her underwear upon sitting on Peterson's lap, and both deviants proceeded to have sexual intercourse for several minutes. Cops reported and examined the bus video. Confort pled guilty to early pled guilty earlier this month for automotive interlude where he was sentenced for two years probation on a convention of Peterson previously charged for copped misdemeanor charges. Prosecutors dropped three charges three other charges against the couple who were pictured in the mugshots. Oh, um, do you want to, I don't know if I can read, <laughs> this is, this is the actual message, her Facebook message is where she responded to the article, oh, the report, news report, stating, quote, look, asshole, yes, I had sex with, with my husband, whom I've been with for five fucking years, and he is my child's father, Conford wrote, Randall was in jail when it happened, when I was riding, I was riding for my husband to stop. So, so, right, I proceeded to ride for my husband, so stop talking shit. I will be pressing charges to anyone who, anyone involved, you sick fox. <laughs> okay. That is a messed up story. So. Ah, boy. Yeah, I gotta tell you, this story is just so messed up. So messed up. I like reading these funny news stories, because they're just so damn funny. Because when you... 
when you read these stories, you're just sort of like, wow, the world is just crazy. So, anyway, I'm wrapping up the show soon, so. And, oh, sorry, I got one more question. Uh, what did you think of Mountain Monsters episode yesterday? Um, I was kind of disappointed with it. Uh, the season's not going fast. It's sort of really s- slow season. And I know I gotta talk about the Young Justice thing. I forgot to talk about it. Um, the the Mountain Monster season is just kind of slow. I'm just kind of bored. I usually get bored. I know that the you know the um, hypnotist thing that they did for Buck where he didn't have memory because he was found in a shark cage by Huckleberry and Jeff. It was just, I don't know, it's just so stupid. Like, they're not really focusing on the hunt. They're focusing on the story. And I know since Trapper isn't part of the show that much anymore, the season just got really, really boring with Buck leading the team. Um, Young Justice. I know I... I got, you know, a lot of people thought I was pretty harsh about the season. Uh, The way they treated Brion, who became the villain, which made no fucking sense of him killing his uncle. But the thing that bugged the fuck out of me was... uh, Why didn't, you know, Artemis talk to Terra... Brion's sister. Yeah, Tara. And I love the part where everyone forgives her for almost trying to kill Beast Boy. I just love that. It's like, and the thing that bugged me was how they got mad at Brion for killing his uncle. And it's just like, didn't they, like, in the first season have the tight the not, I was going to say Titans the young justice crew to talk to black canary about their emotional mental you know inner emotional problems like why didn't they do that with um Brion and Halo and Forger you can't really get much out of them until they did and the till they did with the uh, Connor Forager um <laughs> talking you know talking and stuff i just I don't, I don't know what to think. The, the season of Outsiders. I'm just, I just feel like they tried so much for a season. Like they, me too. Yeah, me too. I just feel like they tried so much for the season. Like they ju- they juggled so many stories, and they didn't even finish one. Like I remember, I forget which episode it was, where one of the characters was telling Megan about her father physically abusive towards her mother and her siblings and her. Like, they get to that moment. All of a sudden, they just throw that story side side and not even give closure to it. And it just always bugged me with the season. I feel like they have so many characters and little time for each episode. Like, each episode is like 22 minutes. And they really just didn't really have enough time to cover everything. And I wish for this season they just don't do that many storylines where you leave a lot of people confused and you don't have any ending to any episodes. Um, for me, that's just what bugged me. And I recently got a message from a lot of people who are part of the furry movement. They want to be to apologize. <laughs> No. Um, not happening. The people who wear furry costumes are just weird people. Um, anyway. Final thought of the show. Um, yeah. It, here's the final thought. I look forward to 2020. <laughs> um, I'm excited for a lot of things that's happening in 2020. I... Uh, am thrilled for what's happening for the future. I'm... i tell you one thing, my final thought. 
I really don't have one. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to have like one to talk about, but yeah. You know. It's just basically I'm excited for the future. I um the next episode for is going to happen. It's going the next episode is going to be about comics. I am excited for Titans. I'm hyped for it. Can't wait to see how it goes. Um, yeah. Uh, this weekend, I won't be doing any shows. I have the weekend off. I recently got a text message from my grandma to come up and visit. So, I will go visit her Sunday. It's been a while since I've seen her. So, that's what's going to happen Sunday. So, uh, the weekend I'm kind of off. So, um, I look forward to seeing what they do with Catwoman's whip. Can't wait to ride Catwoman. And I can't wait to see how that ride goes. Um, I'm excited for Titans. I mentioned that one. Telltale Games. I am so thrilled that they're coming back. Um, sure they're going to do a lot of amazing things for in the future they have good leadership so i'm josh and this is the podcast and remember never give up never surrender that's a great movie by the way so galaxy quest check it out see ya